guys, and welcome back to Zola's Lab 2. So it is Thursday, May 4th of 2023. So it is officially the second week of the celebration of spring 2023. Although, saying 2023 will probably make us all think that it's probably going to return the next year. I'm not sure about that. I don't know. Point is, I mean, if this event is successful enough, maybe... Who knows? But, speaking of which, this is also the last video with this party. Anyway, yep, it is officially one week into this party, as you can see. And yes, it is actually as late as it is here. Not kidding. This update took probably uh, technically 30 minutes to make. But I did take a, probably a break or two, just so I wasn't doing this for literally half an hour straight. So anyway, yep, this ends in a week, and then in three weeks, we got the Festival of Lights. So, please look out for that in three weeks. Specifically three episodes from now. Anyway, with all that being said, where is week two content? Well, actually, before we jump into week two content, we need to go collect all the other items from the first week. Then, we can jump into the Week 2 content. The reason it only took 30 minutes to make the Week 2 content is because in this, there are only three areas that got updated for the event. And, well, I'll show you them after we are done with the items. So, without further ado, let's get to those items first. To get started, we're going to kick off with the April 28th items. Those being the White Tulip, the Lily of the Valley, the Ozer blew it, or bullet, I don't know, anyway. And lastly, the Oxy Daisy. The next one is in here, and ironically, we'll also fill up our inventory. We have the Cornflower and the Blue Orchard. Those are both for April 29th. As for April 30th, it is right up here. This is for the Dandelion. And we're actually going to need to clear my inventory because we got a lot of items to collect. And by a lot of items, I mean a lot of items. So to technically fill up our inventory with three days worth of items, we go up here to find the sunflower. Next up, the next one is located in the, meat, in the uh, sheep rooms. There we go. And I also just cleared out my inventory as well, so we can place all the following items there. We have the orange tulip. Next is the red flowers. So the following items can be collected here. This being the poppy, red tulip, and rosebush. The next items are located at the underground party room, which ironically, we only have one item, the spring 2023 banner. Let me take a copy of that throw those out just to prove that we have it both on my inventory and my left hand next up and we only have one more item since we have now officially entered week two. Oh, also there's no catalog today despite it being the first thursday of the month i'm going to wait until this party's over to release the next catalog i.e may 11th all right the last item and this is going into week two we get to collect the flowering ozily leaf now, with all the items collected for the week, let's showcase all of those rooms for week two. All right, our first room requires us to go through the theme park pathway, but we're not actually going to the theme park. No, 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 that's not decorated. <laughs> and I already fell off the path. We did, we're not even going to the theme park at all. No, we're only going halfway to the theme park, AKA Emperor's house. Yep, we're going to Emperor's house. Now, why couldn't I have just paused it um, until we got there? Uh, oh, and dang, that guy's still there from Easter. Uh, the reason I didn't is just because, hey, I thought I'd take that path on video for the first time in, like, forever. I'd also like to remind you where this place is even located to begin with. In case you forgot, since we don't come here much. Anyway, there are no more items, but we do have a few rooms to showcase. One of them being this. 
So, as you can notice, this was not decorated last time, because in the background, you could clearly have told in the last episode it was not decorated. Which was true, because it wasn't. Ironically, this was actually the last room I decorated prior to recording. The first one I did was my house. And the other, well, I'll show you later. So, practically, I think I'm doing this in backwards order. <laughs> Who cares? Anyway, no, seriously, though, jumping actually into it, as you can see, we have Wither Roses everywhere, even though in survival they can hurt you. But, hey, I thought I'd just do this for the heck of it. They're not really seen that much throughout the event, so that can explain why. I like most of the other flowers. So that can probably explain why I put them here. Outside of that, we have all the spring banners, which, uh, honestly, now that I think about it, maybe this should have actually been the May 4th item, now that I think about it. I mean, technically, I guess this does make sense, too, considering you've been seeing this throughout the event the entire time. But, oh well. Anyway. With all that being said, that's really cool. Now, jumping into the actual house itself, it is much more or less decorated on the inside as opposed to outside. Because as you can see, this is how it looks. It looks super freaking cool. And by really freaking cool, it really does actually. So, as you may notice, that's how it looks. And it looks very beautiful for what it is. But yeah, it is much less decorated on the inside compared to the outside, as you can clearly notice. Now, of course, when we go upstairs, it is even less decorated compared to downstairs. I know, we should really fill that chest with something. Although, you know the deal with vendor chests. What, where, no matter how many you place, it's always going to be the same inside. We've known that for years. But I should probably fill this with something. And the same goes for the Creations World, too. Or any ender chest that I have in any of my worlds. But yeah. Dang, man. I hope Ambrose comes back to this world at some point. He does know his house is here, because I told him back when I first remade it in 2021. So he's aware it's here. He just doesn't realize I've been decorating it all this time. I don't think he really minds. I at least hope... Plus also, I don't decorate this place as much as, like, basically the rest of the lab, so that can explain, too. Anyway, now that we got that over with, that is basically it for inside this entire house. In fact, actually, we can now make our way... Oh, come on. Uh, we can now make our way all the way over to right here. That's right. Rose Crystal's house was also updated in the process as well. It was the second place I updated. So yeah, practically at this point, I'm going in backwards order. Anyway. Dang, when you realize this house, I think it's been here the longest out of all three houses in this world. When you actually realize that's actually not a joke. I think my house was the last one to be remade. Uh, but this house was never in the original prior to the 2017 corruption. So this was made right after that, if you recall. Uh, I just thought I'd give you a little fun fact. Because that's actually true, actually. Prior to the 2017 corruption, this house right here was never here. Yeah, actually, you know what? That looks better. Plus, we need a little more room to actually get up there. Anyway, as you can clearly notice, this is how it looks. And it truly does look absolutely beautiful. With all that being said, that is basically it. Well, at least for the downstairs. Going upstairs, on the other hand, we got so much more decoration. And that's practically how it looks. It looks very, very beautiful, as you can see. And with genuinely all that being said, there's not much else to really say outside of any of that. So we can get out of here and now go all the way over to my house. Which is uh, a little far from here, as you can clearly see. Just jumping to make it a little faster. 
There we go. Now my house. The first place I did. Anyway, with all that being said, this is the last place for the week two content. And just a week two update. That is seriously cool. With all that being said, let's jump into it. Because we're literally done right after this. I'm not even joking. There's no more rooms. So yeah. Anyway, let's do this. So as you can see, we have more um, flowering Osley bushes. Um, right here. Or they're technically called leaves, but we'll call them bushes for the sake of this party. Uh, that's ironically what I did for all of these, actually. Uh, for all the Celebration of Springs. It's just crazy that the Creation World was the only place out of all five areas to never get a spring event. That's actually sad. Maybe next year. Yeah, maybe next year. Anyway, the outside looks very, very cool. But unlike Enpro's house, the outside is not as much decorated as the inside. And well, here's your proof. Oh, <laughs> accidentally misplaced a banner. There we go. Going inside, as you can see, it is much more decorated on the inside compared to the outside. Though, this is practically the opposite of Enpro's house. Where there, it was less decorated on the inside and more decorated on the out. This is literally the complete opposite, where it is more decorated on the inside rather than the outside. So that's something. Oh yeah, I also put these here just for the literal heck of it. I mean, I had to do something. But yep, this is how it looks. It looks just amazing, as you can see. So what are your thoughts, actually, um, as we speak? Because it practically looks really, really cool. Dang, this truly was something. And by something, I truly do mean it was a nice thing to work on. Anyway, with all that being said, of course, we still got the upstairs and a few more rooms to explore. This is updated as well. I should probably relight this portal now that I think about it. And you know what? Let me actually go ahead and do that. I want to relight this portal. Now, hold on. I know it sends me to the nether, and... What the frick is Flower Shape doing here? Okay, that is really weird. What the frick is Flower Shape doing here? Come on, Flower Shape. Back. Yep, yeah, back you go. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Hold on. Let me just break this for a second. Let me just get her out of here. Let me re-put that back. Okay, now I think I can understand why I never relit that portal. Apparently, now it just goes here rather than the actual lab itself. So maybe that can explain why I've never actually relit that portal. Uh, Flower Shade, you gonna come with me, bud? Okay, I guess not. Yeah, she went back to the lab, apparently. Uh, I see. She broke loose. But you know what? Actually, wait a minute. I actually remember doing that. So she went into the nether on her own. It was because of me! But don't worry. She's back here safe and sound. So back to my house here, as you can clearly see. We have even more decoration. Which is very, very cool. So, as you may notice, that's how it looks. And of course, here's the portal. Uh, that's supposed to be actual torches, not soul torches. There we go. Much better. Alright, we're good with this room. Now as for the rest of this room, yeah, it looks pretty crazy. This is one crazy hallway. Actually, having that bush there doesn't make any sense. You won't be able to see the window. Alright, lastly but not least, my room, which practically doesn't have any decoration at all. What the frick? Outside of the banners. We need to put some spore blossoms here. Okay, thank God. Yep, spore blossoms. This room does not feel complete without them. 
And by, like, literally not complete without them, I literally mean do not feel complete without them. It really does not feel complete without them. That's why I'm doing this. So practically, it's going to be like this the whole entire week. Beautiful. All right. With all that being said, that is it for the entirety of the week two content. The next episode on May 11th, I will start recording the episode the night prior on May 10th, right before the event goes down, to show you all the items. And maybe, just maybe, we could potentially get Rose Crystal in here. That would actually be pretty cool. Just like the Winter Luau. That will actually be pretty cool. If like, And um, if that does end up happening, that would be cool. If not, then that's okay. Uh, I would still show them the night before, and then cut to the next day where the event's just entirely gone and we'll showcase the catalog and everything. And then we wait two weeks for the Festival of Lights. So, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode on May 11th. See you then.